Hi, I'm Linda from Bar Ladies Body Blitz. Welcome to Beginner Mat Inner Thighs. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. If you want to intensify some of these exercises, all you need to do is put on some light ankle weights, or you might want to wear a resistance loop just above the knees, or maybe place it in various positions depending on the exercise. Okay, we're going to get straight into it. There's not a dedicated warm up as such, but if you need to warm up if you're in a cold climate, make sure you do that and come back when you're ready. We're going to start off with some side lying leg raises. These are very traditional, so just make sure you line up your elbow and your shoulder. Your back leg can just be bent up and the front leg is going to be in line with the corner of your mat. You wanna make sure that your hips are stacked on top of each other so you're not turning out. You can place your hand in front and all we're doing is gonna start raising our leg. So make sure you're in a position where it's nice and comfortable on your hip. And if this is already feeling a little bit uncomfortable for you, you can come all the way down here and put your head in your hand, okay? So that's an option. The reason I like to be up here is because it does also use your obliques and your abs. So make sure you're holding everything really tightly, everything in really tightly, and lift using your inner thigh. So we're making sure that our kneecap is pointing forward and we're just raising up and up. So this is your traditional inner thigh raise. We're going to change the position of our leg, our back leg, and you will notice that things will feel slightly different. So if you don't want to keep your foot up on the toe, you can just put it down and leave it flat. I quite like the feeling of being up on the toe. That instability that you're creating is using much more of your muscle groups, especially in your abs, to keep you nice and steady. Let's go for four. Three, two, one. Now I want you to bring that leg over and you can just put your foot down. And the main point is that your back leg now is in line with your hips and you're gonna come up and down, up and down. So it doesn't so much matter what you're doing with this top leg. The main thing you're trying to do is bring your leg up as high as you can, up. Up. So still making sure that your kneecap is facing the front of the room and you are lifting as high as you possibly can. This one has a much more restricted feel to it, but you should still feel your inner thighs here. Up. Up. A few more like this. Keep squeezing. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your leg to the back again and this time we're going to come up with our hands by our hips. We're going to turn that leg out so the kneecap is still to the front and we're gonna bring that leg up higher. So just changing this angle slightly and facing our chest towards our knees rather than lying down, you can raise that leg a lot higher, but you should definitely be feeling this now. Up. Make sure you keep that knee turned out. It's going to come more at a 45 degree angle than being straight to the front, but try, try, and bring that leg up as high as you can. You want to make sure you're not hunching in the shoulders. Keep your belly button pulled in, and there's a light bend in those elbows, so you should feel your triceps here as well. Up and up, eight, seven, six, five, four, a bit of hip flexor here as well, three, two, and one. Now come down on your elbows and we're doing a similar thing but I want you to come out past your mat and as you come in, come up towards the knee. So it's down and up. You're still keeping your inner thigh to the ceiling and you're coming down and up. So this one definitely should be feeling tougher. Up, down and up. So you're touching your two knees together, wide and in, in, in. Try to keep your leg really straight 
throughout all these exercises unless I tell you otherwise. So this is really important. You want to pretend like you've got a ruler behind your knee keeping your legs super straight. Up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Now we're going to repeat those four exercises on the other side. So you're starting off with your nice aligned shoulder and elbow, your leg at the back is up on the toe, your toe is pointed towards the corner of the mat, your hips are stacked and your hand is in front and you're just starting that raise. So you find your point of engagement. Everyone's slightly different. Some people can raise really high and others can't. As long as you feel this inner thigh muscle in here, when you put your hand on there, you should feel that it tightens up, it hardens up, and that's what we're looking for. Up, up. Just keep the rest of your body really still and hold in your tummy and bring that up. And remember, if you want to, you can come all the way down and hold your head in your hand. Up, up. If you need to take breaks in between each set, or do a few reps and then have a little break, then definitely do that. I am doing less reps and I'm changing sides more frequently than I usually would in my other mat workouts and that's why I call this a Barlati's beginner's workout. It may not exactly be beginners according to other people's standards, but it is easier compared to most of my other workouts. Go for six, five, Four, three, two, one. Now bring your leg over and you can choose if you want it up here, down here. The main point is that you need to keep your leg now in line with your hip and up and down once again. Much smaller range of motion here. Make sure you're not slouching in your shoulder. Up. Really keeping that leg straight. I like to point my toe, but if you prefer to just keep it relaxed or even flex your foot, you can do that. The main thing is that we're engaging that inner thigh. Up. Squeeze. Should really feel this one. You're always breathing out on the lift or on the exertion. So breathe in and out. Out on the up. Up. Squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now coming onto our hands, keeping that leg turned out and coming up. So this time, again, your elbows are pointing towards the back and you're raising that leg in line with the other one, trying to keep it turned out. So once you have this, I want you to look straight ahead. Your chest is facing your knees and you're just bringing that up. You're going to feel in here in that hip flexor area and that's quite normal, but I want you to focus on rotating that knee out as much as possible. If you need to bend here, that's another option. Just bend slightly and that will help you. Up and up, just a few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, long legs, four, three, two, one. Now come down on your elbows and we're going to come past our mat and as we come up, I want you to meet your knees together, up, down and up, keeping the knee out at about 45 degree, degrees and down all the way and up, <sighs> blowing out on the up, touching those knees together, up. Don't slouch in the shoulders, look straight ahead, up, up, leg is straight. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, now we're going to lie all the way down. So you've got options here. You can either lie all the way down and do it this way, or if you want to engage your upper abs, you can come up on your elbows or even come up on your hands, okay? So depending on your level. I'll show you all the way down to begin with. Just come up and bring your heels together and we're going to start off with in and out. So your knees are turned out and you're forming like a diamond and you're coming down and in, up and out. And so you're actually pressing your legs away on a 45, well not really 45, on a slight angle. So it's not directly above your hips. And as you push your legs out, you're going to push the insides of your legs together. And that is what's engaging your inner thighs. As you come down, I want you to press your heels together. That's what's going to engage the inner thighs on the way in. So it's in and it's up. So you can be all the way down here if you prefer or like I have been doing so that I can look at you more easily. I've got one hand behind my neck and that's gonna engage my upper abs. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Now we're going to stay up. You can point your toes here if you like. Open out and then come in. So it's point down, flex in. Point down, flex in. So you're letting your legs open to their natural point where it's not too far, but you have still got control to bring it back up. It's out and in. Now, if the feet are confusing you, you can just point and point like this, or just flex and flex like this. Doesn't really matter. All the way in, point and flex. So what I want you to focus on is bringing that in, zipping up your inner thighs. So this is where all the work is, as if you've got magnets and they're drawing your legs together. A few more like this. Go for three, two, one. Now we're building a little routine, but first I want to teach you the third one in the routine. Come down in that open position, knees together and out. So you're using your heels as a pivot point and you're pushing against your heels and then you're pushing your knees together and back out, staying in that kind of frog leg diamond shape. And as I said, if you want to do this up here, you can. That's going to engage your abs even more. But make sure you're not slouching in your shoulders if you're up here. So it's in and out, in and out. Really push six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to build a bit of a um, routine with the three moves. So we're going to start at the bottom, come up, then go out, come in, go down, go in and out. Come up, out and in, come down, in and out. Come up, out and in, come down, in and out, come up, out, in, down, in, out, up. And just keep going like that. Down, in, out, up, out, in, down, in, out, up. Keep going. Just breathe through it. You can relax your head if you want. Out, in, up. Go as wide as you can. It should feel good. It should be almost like a dynamic stretch here because you're going as wide as you can. In. Remember to push against the heels. In. Down. Let's do four more sets. Out. In. Down. In. Out. Up. Out. In. Down. In. Out. Up. Two more. Down, in, out, up. Last one. Down, in, out, up. Now point your toes and we're going to do fast 
little switches. Switch your feet. Make sure you're turning out your knees. And if you want to, bring your legs slightly further down. So you're engaging lower abs here as well. And just beat those legs. I've got my toes pointed and just really switch, 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 switch. Tiny little switches. Burning out those inner thighs. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, just relax for a second, shake out your legs. We're going to come up onto those elbows, or if you want to, you can come up on your hands, that's even more advanced. And we're going to just start in the center, and we're going to open to the one leg to the front and the other one just open slightly. Then come in, out, up. So it's open, toes together, and up. Open, toes together, and up. So the majority of the work is on this lower leg. Toes together, open, up. I really want you to focus on lengthening your legs long legs, point your toes. And when you come up, really think zhup, inner thigh, zip. Think of those magnets pulling your legs together. And up. If your feet are cramping because um, you're pointing too hard, maybe try flexing for a few. In and up. That feels completely different. And up, let's do four. And up, three, and up, two, and up, one, and up, nice job, switch sides. You don't have to move if you don't want to, I'm just doing it so I can keep looking at you. Exactly the same thing, so you're coming down with the other leg now, in, and up, down, in, and up, long legs, Really trying to focus on letting this bottom in the thigh do all the work. The top leg is opening slightly, but it's mainly the bottom leg that's doing the work, coming all the way up. And up, down, in, and up, down, in, and up. A few more. Remember, you can flex for a few. And up. Breathe, you can lie all the way down if you want to. And up, go for four. And up, and three. And up, and two. Up, and one. Up, so that's definitely a hip flexor death. So I just want you to come up, release those hip flexors a little bit. Breathe. Then come down, and we're just going to do a quick stretch before we do our last little series. So just open up and just lean forward slightly, nothing too extreme. Now we're going to lie back down. And I want you to lie all the way down. Tummies are pulled in. Your feet are quite close to your glutes. And you're starting off with your feet approximately hip width apart. We're going to come all the way up, bring our knees together, out and down. Up, in, out, and down. So we're starting off at the easiest level, and what I want you to focus on is squeezing your knees and inner thighs together, okay? So at the moment, feet are parallel, they're flat on the mat, and they're hip width apart. Up, in, out, down. Up, in. You're going to feel your glutes here as well. That's a bonus. <sighs> Try to come up really high before you move those knees in and down. A few more like this, and then we're going to change the angles. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your feet out so they're closer to the edge of the mat 
and we're doing the same sort of thing. We're going to come up, in, out, down. So now this time there's going to be a lot more distance to cover because your feet are wider. So you really need to push, push together, keep it high, push together. Up and push, up and push. You need to focus on those inner thighs, otherwise you're only going to feel it in the glutes. So think inner thigh, inner thigh. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now walk your feet together so they're touching. And we're gonna change it slightly. We're gonna come up, in, out, down. Up, in, out, down. Push against your feet. That's going to create more tension in the inner thighs. So you're lifting high, pushing in on the feet as well as your knees. Up, in, up, in, out, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your feet back to parallel. Come up on your tippy toes and we're just gonna go out and in. Out and in, stay up now. Push your knees together, out and in. Push, push. Really, really try to keep that straight line between your hips and your knees. Tummies are in and push, push. Squeeze, squeeze. Breathe through it. Eight. Seven, six, keep going, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, bring your feet to the edge of the mat. Come back up on your tippy toes. You might need to be closer to your butt here. Come up and same thing. You might need to slow it down a little bit, but it's still faster than before and you're staying up in. So the accent is on the in, 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 in. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. This one burns. Come on, a few more. Eight, seven, six, long count, five, four, three, Two and one. Last little thing, I promise. Feet together, up on your toes. You've got your feet together. We're going to open out and knock your knees together. So try to keep your feet together and then push. Stay up, push, push, push. Come on, think inner thighs. You can do this. This is the last exercise. In, in. In, 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 in. Just keep going, breathe through it, mind over matter. Tell yourself you can do it. Stay up, squeeze those glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bonus hold, knees together, stay up, bonus hold. Breathe everything up, squeeze your, your knees together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Ah, are you ready to stretch? Now, because we did use our hamstrings a little bit here, especially in these glute raises, we're going to stretch our leg towards us like this. Stretch out the back of your leg. That feels good. And now grab that leg and Open it out to the side and pull it towards the mat. Pull it in towards you as well. Keep it straight. Stretching out your inner thigh. And I just want to do a figure four stretch because we did use the glutes a bit. So just bring that knee in, push away on the knee. Then put that down and stretch the other leg towards you. Point and flex if you like. 
feeling that stretch in the hamstring. And then just bring that down, open it up, pull in towards you and pull it down. And then cross it over and just pick up that leg and push away on your knee, opening the hips and outer thighs and glutes. Everything's connected in the lower body, so even though we predominantly worked in the thigh, you would have still felt it on the rest of your lower body muscles. Now swing yourself up and back to that extended stretch. Just bring your legs out and just lean forward slightly. That feels really nice. And then just bring your feet together and a nice butterfly stretch. You can push down, opening up through the hips and inner thighs. And just to release the spine, extend your leg, hug your knee in and look towards the back. And then just change that up other side and to release the lower back just come into a cat cow pushing your spine to the ceiling and looking up and again all the air out and up and then just sit down and then reach over and over, interlace, push in front, interlace, pull up at the back. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my beginner's mat inner thigh workout. I hope you felt that burn and I'll see you at the next segment.